Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. Welcome to August and all the craziness that it is. I think, I don't know, go look for it online, but everything's in retrograde, I'm just saying. <laughs> Thanks so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. I'm here with a, a couple of decks, Taurus. I did this bonus reading with these couple of decks here uh, yesterday and they gave me some good energy. So I feel like I'm just going to mix it up with an Oracle deck and some tarot and find out what's going on here. Tell me about Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's going on in the week ahead for Taurus. We've got trust. We've got freedom. We've got relaxation. All right. So what I want to say right away to somebody here, if you are someone who is single, to please trust that freedom is what you need right now. You need the freedom to do whatever it is that you want. You need to leave everyone else behind and go out front here. And I feel like the relaxation is telling me that what you need is time by yourself, time with you. That's what it feels like here. That um, trust that the freedom that you have right now is because things are about to pick up Taurus and I feel like you are supposed to be relaxing spending time with self um, get a good book I feel like you know um, writing things down possibly journaling right over these uh, moon phases it feels like um, trust that the freedom that you have now is necessary tell me more about Taurus please we have distant horizons we have the lovers we have sudden wealth And we have the mature woman. Taurus, you could be the mature woman. I mean, you know, she's a woman's body, feminine or masculine. We don't know what energy is in there. But um, I feel, again, like I've been telling you this for for a few few weeks now, that money changes are coming. And I feel like it's it's really good. It's really good money changes that are coming for some of you. Please remember that you need to be on this timeline in order for it to happen soon. But I feel like if it doesn't happen soon, it's coming. Um, and, uh, you know, there there is no timeline on this. So I feel like there is something that is coming here that is going to change your financial situation. It may be delivered to you by a mature woman or because of a mature woman. Distant Horizons and Lovers tells me that there is somebody who lives at a distance from you here that I feel the Lovers here is somebody that you love. I feel like you really need to trust that the freedom you have right now should be spent in relaxation, taking care of the self, a lot of self-care. Because when you do self-care, Taurus, you deepen the, the, the connection with yourself. And you can only attract what you are. So if you're trying to attract a deep connection, then I feel like you need to work on you. You need to love you, regardless of what kind of connection that is, soulmate, karmic, whatever it is. In order to attract what you are, you must be that thing. And so Distant Horizons tells me that on the horizon, there probably is somebody new coming in, a lover. But I feel like also there's money coming in. And it goes back to the bonus read I did yesterday. We're still in the same energy of it feels like everything's coming all at once. Love and money here. I think it's all on the distant horizon. We have the man here. We have, again, another ship. Look at this. Two different decks, right? We have card number 36 and card number 3. They both have a 3 in them. I feel, Taurus, that you have, you've decided to ditch something in the past that is no longer, that was keeping you, it was keeping you um, on the ground, I want to say. Because I'm looking at this anchor, and this anchor is not connected to the ship. And so I feel like you dropped anchor. You just dropped it and said, I can't let people anchor me anymore. And so it's allowing you to sail over some sort of obstacles that you've been having. Um, it feels like this, this person that's showing up here is the person who might be the one who's on the distant horizon. The lover. Um, it feels like you finally decided to get off the ground and soar. And I feel like somebody's watching you. That that um, man energy is looking straight at the ship. I feel like you're, you're getting over obstacles or you're working things out. And I think that this comes, Taurus, it feels like it comes after um, 
a hardship because we do have the Ten of Swords in the bottom right hand corner. So it almost feels like, as I was saying here, that you're dropping anchor, like dropping whatever was heavy so you could fly. That's what it feels like here. The Ten of Swords tells me there was some sort of release here. Some, something that you have released and somebody I feel sees that, that you have released some negativity, that you're no longer speaking negative, living negative, you're no longer doing those things, that you're deciding that you can overcome any obstacles that come up in your life. It feels like somebody here has their eye on you. Somebody could be watching you. This person is on the distant horizon. Now, for some of you, this could be a new person. But for others of you, I feel like there already is someone who is, you've caught their eye. Somebody who finds you very engaging. This could be someone who is looking for uh, a partner who is very serious about settling down. Um, we do have the bridge and then we have concern. So I'm going to say for those of you who are maybe um, in in disconnect, I want to say that this is probably a reading about uh, two people that are in separation. That's what it feels like. It feels like it was always meant to come back together, but this is separation. So for some of you, I feel like that you are dropping this heavy thing, whatever, whatever the anchor was around your ankles, and you're looking at distant horizons. But there is somebody who still has their eye on you here. Let's get to some tarot. Tell me more about Taurus, please. In the week ahead, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, please look below this video. There is a pinned comment that'll uh, take you over to Wizio if you're interested in booking a private read. I am caught up, so we're looking at a 7 to 10, 10 day turnaround time. All right, here we go. Tell me about Taurus. We've got Ten of Wands. This person is um, its weighing heavy on them to watch you succeed, um, to watch you rise above your obstacles. Even though you, you have had betrayal and hardship and people have come up against you. And it feels like, Taurus, that I'm talking to somebody who's been through a really hard, um, maybe 10 years. There's a 10 here, right? And somebody is watching you. Um, do really good for yourself, like by yourself. And I feel like as they watch you, Taurus, they fall more and more in love with you. This is somebody who you've never dated before, like for some of you. This is someone that you've never dated before, but you know them. They're in your life, and you might have an attraction to them, or they might have an attraction to you. They're very masculine. I want to say this person is very masculine, um, and we've got... Mars around this person's neck. So they could be Scorpio or um, or Aries, possibly. Tell me more. This person's really weighed down or, or carrying a heavy burden of watching you succeed on your own. Uh, we do have the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Temperance card. This does feel like somebody who you know, who you're probably very attracted to, um, but this is uh, somebody that you have not dated before. Where This is someone who's in your soul tribe, your community, maybe you work with this person, but I don't feel like you speak with them on a regular basis. Um, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, which is five, and so I want to say that maybe the only time you see this person is when you meet with your community, or when you go to work, or it seems like whenever you go to this particular space where there's other people that's when this person's invited and you see them and you're get maybe you're excited to see them when you do this person has been watching you grow so um, it also could be that you worked with this person and you no longer do this person is watching you grow from a distance right we've got distant horizons and I feel like they do have really some really deep feelings for you but that they have not told you about yet I feel like that they What's weighing really heavy on them, Taurus, is that they want to communicate with you, but it feels like they're um, next week. It feels like somebody here is going back and forth, back and forth with the idea. You can see that she is looking at the two pentacles, but she's also looking at the uh, at the the ship above the head, right? So it feels like somebody here is trying to make a decision about 
saying something, right? The Queen of Swords is the one who wants to liberate herself from being captive, right? So liberating self from, from being in a situation where I feel like I can't say what I want to say. So I feel like somebody here wants to say something to you. And they've been going back and forth about whether or not they should contact you. Because I feel like you might intimidate them just a little bit. Card number three is the Empress energy. And the fact that you are you are soaring over all of your um, all of your obstacles by yourself tells me that you probably are the Empress. It really is putting this person, whoever they are, in a place of I don't know if I should come forward because I wasn't there for Taurus when things were tough. And now Taurus might think that I'm coming forward when things are better. I want to say that you two coming together and having some type of conversation or getting to know each other better has always been on the books. I want to say with the temperance card here, it's something that we've been waiting on waiting for the right time, waiting for the right balance, going back and forth, right? There's two indications of going back and forth until the right time. It's like this person knows you, maybe sees you on a daily basis or once in a while, but it feels like they've been weighing out the odds of, do I contact Taurus or not? This person, I feel, wants to be on your side. They want to help you out, be on your side. Um, they see you... Um, they see you... Uh, getting over all of your obstacles on your own, but this person feels like they want to give you a little bit of relief. They also want, I feel, to um, to provide for you. Like, this is a pretty serious card, right? Card number 25. It is a seven. For me, sevens are heaven. It's like the universe is involved now. And the ace of wands is what this is. The ace of clubs is on the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, the ace of cups is here. So somebody here is looking for a brand new beginning. And I feel like they've been watching you from a distance. And um, this person, like I said, is, is somebody who is in your friendship, um, like in your line of friendship. This is not someone that you've ever dated before. But they are interested in you. They do have an interest in you and they have an interest in helping you, Taurus. This is somebody here that I feel you haven't um, really engaged with I want to say engagement ring engaged with um, but we do have the we do have the bridge here so it's like somebody does want to see you but they feel like they need to build a bridge to you um, in order to be able to talk with you um, we do have the the birds here these particular birds are sort of chitter chattery it's like people are talking about it this person might be telling other people how do I build a bridge to Taurus how do I talk to them how do I let them know that I actually have a thing for them because it feels like it feels like this person does have a thing for you and I want to say that you are in a place where you've become sort of open um, the key and the cage right and we have the rose in the center which is a heart um, and it feels like you're you're open to love, I want to say. You're quite open to love, and it's because you've been working on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, there is a concern here. What's the concern? The concern is from the mature man. Why is that? Um, because uh, an official person... Imprisonment. Okay, so this person has something that they are actually involved in that they feel kind of trapped. They can't come forward. They're just waiting on the word from an official person. It's like something is coming to an end for this person here. Um, masculine or feminine, something is coming to an end, but they must wait because right now, it's like they, they are sort of imprisoned in sort of a situation that they can't get out of, and they're waiting for change. We've got change here. So they're waiting for the official word. They're waiting for a message coming from, a, from an official person. When I see this person, to me, they are someone who is like delivering a summons or someone who finally delivers the divorce papers or uh, something that's official, something that needs a notary. There is great big change, and this card of change shows me that somebody is actually um, making change by moving out or moving away. So it makes me feel like this person here is um, somebody who wants to speak with you. Um, they have a concern possibly that somebody is going to snap you up in the meantime. Look at this, 33 and 33. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is a new path, right? 
threes are about a new path or about the past, the present, and the future. So it tells me that you might have known this person before, but they want to build a bridge to you. And so I don't think it's because of anything that's ever happened that was bad. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like they don't know how to approach you and they're a little bit intimidated in doing so. However, that being said, I also feel that they're kind of worried that someone else is going to snap you up. me about the page of wands and the ten of wands please this person does want to contact you and it's weighing really heavy on them that they can't because the ace of cups is in the bottom right hand corner and this person has been ready to start brand new for a while but they can't do anything until they hear from the official person yet so we do have card number 28 which is a 10 that breaks down to a one tell me about the ten of wands we have the Seven of Swords, so they're keeping it on the down low. They're keeping it quiet, Taurus. They they can't say anything at this time because there are some, I feel, legal things going on with that official person here. There are some legal things going on that they are not supposed to speak about or that they don't want to speak about at this time. We have the Five of Pentacles. We did have the Five already here, right? The Five of Pentacles. So this person does want to express something to you, but they are on the outside of your life looking in right now. I don't even think they're on your radar, Taurus, to be honest. I don't think that this person is even on your radar because I don't think that they are someone that you've ever dated before. I feel like this is someone that you're like, oh, they're cute. Or, you know, feminine or masculine, oh, that person's really cute. But I feel like you felt like you just carried on. I feel like you just didn't stop to really think about it again. But this person, I feel, never stopped thinking about you. We do have ten pentacles, right? We've got the five, the two, and the three. So we have ten pentacles here. And I feel like this person has been watching you from a distance. There is something going on that something is going to end So something else can begin. We do have the High Priestess here. Very interesting. High Priestess and the Temperance energy, both um, major arcanas, which tells me that change is coming. I feel like what you don't what you don't know is that this person really does want to support you in whatever endeavor you're in, wherever you're working, whatever business you got going on, whatever thing you're doing on the side, whatever it is. I feel like this person really does want to support you and be on your team. Or maybe you did work with them and at one time you were on their team, but I don't think you are anymore because of the Five of Pentacles. Um, the High Priestess tells me that things have been quiet, that this person isn't someone that you talk to all the time. Um, but I want to say that in, in your intuition, I feel you kind of know something is coming, Taurus, because the Temperance card is here. And if you are somebody who has Pisces in, in your energy, or Sagittarius even, somebody who has some sort of psychic energy, you already feel this. It's like I'm not really telling you anything new, I'm just confirming it. Um, but it does feel like this person is... You know, this the Seven of Swords is looking over at the lovers. It's like something has to end first that they can't talk about before they can come forward here. And I feel the concern is that they need to build a bridge to you and they're not really sure if you're going to be available by the time they get there because who doesn't want the Empress, right? And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel that there is um, something that is going to happen for you here, Taurus. And it is, I think you can, you're, you're very confident in what you're feeling in your intuition. So I'm not telling you anything new, that you already know what's happening, and that's how you exactly how you should use tarot. Make up your own mind, make up your decision, and then go to tarot and say, can you confirm this for me, if this is true or not? If you're a person who doesn't really... You know, it, the thing is, is that I think you should, you do believe in your, your intuition. I think that you are feeling it, but I feel like you're, you don't believe your intuition. It's like you're, you've always been confident in your intuition, but you know that this person's coming forward, but you're not really sure why you haven't seen them yet because there's been delays. And I feel like the delays are that this person is dropping something so they can move toward you. I feel like something's ending for them and that's what the delay is. This person does have every intention of of make like they're very serious about you. I feel like when they come forward, it happens quickly because the Ace of Wands is here. Um, once they do come forward, but it's going to take time for them to come forward. But I think what you're being told here is enjoy your freedom because <laughs> I don't think you're going to be free much longer. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy your time alone. 
And if you're a person who doesn't enjoy your own time, you should really try and figure that out. Um, because if you don't, that means you're going to be codependent with this person. But I feel like right now, for those of you who are minding your business, doing your thing, taking care of the self, uh, enjoying the freedom right now, trust that that is not going to be for much longer. One more card, Taurus. We have the Knight of Cups. There it is. Somebody is coming in and they are romantically interested in you. They could be somebody who's who's been watching you from a distance. Like this person I feel is somebody who um, you've not ever been in a relationship with, but I feel like they, they really have their eye on you and they're trying to get out of another thing or maybe not trying to get out of it. I don't think they're getting out of that thing for the purpose of coming forward to you, but I feel like as things are slowing down or rolling, like rolling to a close, I feel uh, for them that they're they're looking at you and I feel like they're watching you succeed and go to great heights and overcome all sorts of obstacles here. Tell me about the sudden wealth and this mature woman. For those of you who are of a mature age, I'm going to say, and mature could mean, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, I feel. And I'm not saying that you're immature if you're younger than that. But there's an age of which somebody, you know, sort of middle age, right? 45 maybe. And, um, Tell me about this. I feel like it's those you people, I feel, that, that there is going to be some sort of sudden wealth that's hitting you here. We do have love. There we go. Two of Cups. Look, I'm just going to leave it there because there's no point in going any further than that. It's because you've worked on yourself here, Taurus. That's what it is. And it's time for you to move forward to the Ten of Cups. Look, I can't even. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> there it is. Look, this is a time where everything is going to start opening up for Taurus, for the Taurus Collective. And I've already seen some of it in the comments. And for some of you, I feel like that this is this is coming forward for you. Um, and it may not be your story, and that's okay too, but I feel like it's beautiful. I feel like somebody is coming forward here, and you are headed toward victory and happiness here. Yep, for sure. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here, Taurus. I'm going to leave, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys, and I'm up for now. Love you. Bye-bye.